important thing is uh, obviously holding senators accountable for doing their office hours. Uh, many senators don't do their office hours. You get elected to represent your students, so you should be in the office uh, whenever s people come uh, for bills to get written. I know that many times we'll have like three or four senators in there throughout the week when there should be all 30 uh, senators in there. Uh, also, by learning their law book, each senator should know, especially chapter two uh, and chapter eight of their law book. Uh, I'd also like to challenge senators to write quality legislation. And um, I think an important thing would also be a bill tracker. So uh, not only senators, but students uh, can know where their bill is at whether it's tabled in rules, community affairs, or finance, so they don't always have to be in the dark about what, where their bill's at. Thank you, sir. I'd like to go ahead and move to the vice president's now. Uh, Wesley, what policies do you plan to change in the ASMSU if elected vice president of the Senate? And in the Senate as well. Uh, <clears throat> I think one of the biggest policies is being fiscally responsible, especially with Senate, because uh, before we entered, we did not have a spending cap in Senate. And for the first time in 56 years, we finally did with Resolution 2. We capped Senate at $200,000 uh, at about 100, or it was 34,000 in the fall and uh, 100 plus thousand in the spring. And I think that's very important to keep senators accountable and make sure that they know how much their bill is written for so we can kind of be fiscally conservative and fiscally responsible with the money we spend. What policies do you plan to change in the ASNMSU and the elected vice president? I think Woody answered that uh, pretty well. I think we need to be here to support every student organization on campus, not just pick and choose uh, the ones that you want because of your opinion politically or religiously or what it may be. Uh, but if I had to kind of like focus on a, like an area, I think uh, an area that needs a little bit of work would be the diversity programs. Uh, they can always use more advertisement for their um, events, such as uh, the Latino uh, week that we've got going on right now. Uh, so that's an area that I would like to kind of put a little bit of attention towards uh, if I were elected. What do you think the most significant problem is faced by Senate? Uh, I as well uh, answered this a little earlier. I think uh, learning the law book is very important. Uh, many senators uh, have troubles with that uh, when it comes to Senate. And I also feel that office hours are also important. Uh, if you're not doing your office hours, how are students supposed to be able to reach out to you? Uh, because many times I'll be in the office and I'll have students from uh, graduate or arts and science and stuff like that asking me uh, to write bills and uh, we should have more senators in the office rather than just having the few that are in there. This way students can reach out to their representatives and be uh, represented. I like that. The Senate, uh Vice Presidents, I know that most of you <coughs> are well contacted with the bunch. You know the jobs of, you have a specific college council and they all, the Vice Presidents sit on the election board of each college council. Now, how will you have that college become more involved with the ASMR? not by just going to their events and just promoting, but how other, how, what are the other resources that we, that you as a vice president can use to help promote that college council and help promote AS and MSU together and become hand in hand, that way we can all move forward as one college, as one university, as one department. Uh, like uh, my two other candidates and colleagues have said, uh, personal involvement is key with college councils. Uh, but I'd also like to work with the public relations director to advertise, uh, and as well as the roundup, uh, to advertise 
basically for these councils, whether it be through just the media as far as the newspaper or whether it be for social media. Uh, I think also visiting these councils is key, just like uh, everyone at this table has said. And I think tabling on campus is key as well. Uh, we need to reach out to students, and I think that's also a great way to re reach out to students is through tabling. I'd like to pose this question to Wesley Jackson. You know, as a vice president, you kind of sit in between both executive and the legislative branch of ASMSU. And that there has been a disconnection for a long time now, it seems like, between the two, between Senate and exec. What will you do to help bridge that gap back together so that we may be in cooperation and just hand in hand again? I think uh, Vice President Maestas has done a good job of this already. Uh, previously, we had a Facebook page and it was just only for Senate. Uh, we excluded exec, which kind of just left them out of the picture of what we were doing. And just recently, he implemented a Facebook page, not only for Senate, but for exec, so we could bridge that gap and everyone could know what's going on in Senate. And I would just kind of like to keep that going and uh, basically increase transparency between exec and Senate. How do you make ASNMSU Senate more fiscally accountable for the money that they are allocated? And how do you, what, what do you plan to do about the student fees? Will you increase it or uh, what, what's the projected? Sir? Uh, I will not be seeking a fee increase either. Uh, I think we should be able to find funding through cuts. There are many areas in ASNMSU that could use somewhat of a trim in order to provide for these student organizations. And one of the areas that I would look towards trimming in order to fund for these student organizations would be our food uh, in Senate. We get food that uh, it costs quite, quite a bit, and I think that we should be able to cut that in order to fund for student organizations because there's no reason that we should be uh, basically feasting on student fees when we could be providing this money to student organizations. Thank you, sir. What made you decide to run for this position? What were the two main reasons why you wanted to run for this position? I'd like to go ahead and give that to Senator Wesley. Uh, I, I just really wanted to give back to our students uh, and the community. Uh, we spent so much on our student government and we as senators should give back to the students. Uh, and I just want to pretty much sacrifice my time for the greater good of the students in, uh, in our student government. How would you handle criticism if you were confronted with it? I know the Senate has a lot of, they speak their mind freely in the Senate. I know that they, they can sometimes be harsh. You see everyone feels the same way. So I'd like to know what, how you would handle criticism if you were confronted with it. Uh, like they both said, uh, you've just got to be able to handle criticism. Uh, you're not always going to be liked in uh, the position of vice president, but you've just got to accept it. Uh, as far as being able to talk to other people, I mean, I will obviously have my door open for any senator and for any student that would like to complain or give us a pat on the back for what we're doing. Uh, I think it's important to be able to have that door open and to let students know that they're welcome at any time uh, and that senators are welcome at any time to come and voice their opinion. Thank you. Candidates, they pointed out that there's some senators in the audience. I'd like to go ahead now and take the time to ask the audience, let them give them a chance to, the opportunity to give them a chance Yeah, I've got a quick question. Um, coming into the Senate this year, we had a major financial crisis, and I was wondering what each of the vice presidential candidates as a senator has done to address and solve that issue, um, and how you look to maintain ASNMSU's fiscal responsibility going forward. 
Uh, well, just like each candidate has said, we've all stood up and uh, voiced our opinion on how we feel about bills and basically uh, cutting things here and there. Uh, but I was also in favor of Resolution 2, uh, which implemented a spending cap for Senate. And this uh, basically made us become more fiscally responsible as a Senate. Uh, and if elected vice president, I will ask the next Senate to implement a spending cap as well, because I think it's important to be able to uh, assess the amount of money you are spending in Senate. making it more fluid. Um, just like Senator Tishocker said, it needs to be updated from paper ballots to online ballots. And Ty, I know you and I have spoken with Chris Ray about this, uh, but uh, polling places also needs to be revised. It's pretty confusing. Uh, and I brought this question up. Is a computer lab considered a polling place throughout the whole campaign process, or is it just considered a polling place during the election week? And that's something I'd like to address and uh, clear up within chapter two, uh, along with a few other things. 